Miren. Sí. Sí, un beso. Un beso, nena. Good morning, y'all, y buenos días. Luna is down for a nap, so I'm gonna try to make this video while she's still down. Today's video will be on my decolonization journey. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this. I had gotten this uh, video requested a lot, and there's no, like, there's no, like, simple way of explaining it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this kind of into a little series just because there's so much to talk about on this topic. And I wanted to start it off with my journey and how, um, how I even got into this. And so if you guys want to learn more about that, then keep on watching. So what is decolonization? Decolonization looks very different um, from person to person, but for me, it's... Um, trying to get rid of or dismantle certain ideals that have been placed upon our people through colonization. And there are so many different ideals that have been put in place and so it looks very different from person to person. Um, for me, it all started online. There's so much that I've learned through social media that I can't even begin to explain. You know, going into veganism and minimalism and zero waste and now here uh, with decolonization as well. So just, you know, scrolling through Instagram feed and stuff like that, I found uh, so many different people talking about decolonization. And so I was like, I'm one of those people where if I see like a new idea that interests me, I have to like dive into it and I'm like, you know, researching for days. I'm just that kind of person. And so like that's exactly what happened. I started just looking into it and, you know, people were talking about um, uh, dismissing and dismantling uh, Eurocentric ideas that have harmed our people. And so what I did first was... Uh, I started looking more into our history and of course you know I learned even as a kid that you know the Spanish conquistadores came over and took over the you know the Aztec the Mexica Empire and stuff like that and they landed in all of these indigenous lands and took over but that was like you know the most that I knew you know we knew that you know they the indigenous people got sick and that was one of the main reasons why they were able to take over when in reality that's not how it happened so i first started just really looking into our true history and realizing how it was the genocide of this land and a genocide that is never talked about you know 95 percent of our people were eliminated through violent acts and so much of our culture was taken away by violent acts and so learning so much about that really opened my eyes so going um through history so through books and documentaries and um all of that really was a good starting point for me like i said i'm very research based, very like documentary and stuff based, y'all already know that. And so that was like how I first um, started just looking into it. And then um, once I started learning more and more and diving deeper and deeper, I realized that it was more than just um, our history that had been deleted, more than just um, so much of our past that had been forgotten, but also so much, so many of our ideas are harmful to our people because they're so negative towards our own like being and so that's when i kind of dove into uh, dismantling eurocentric beauty standards at least like in my mental right and so growing up um my pa my parents are both from el salvador and it's kind of funny because I look exactly like my dad, right? Like, I don't look anything like my mom. And so, just picture this, but like, another one. And that's my dad, basically. And my brother looks exactly like me, and my little sister looks exactly like me. And so, growing up, my dad always told me, you know, you gotta be proud of who you are. You know, he always, always talked about that. And so, um, there's such a negative idea around being dark skin dark eyes and dark hair within our own culture right like most of us look like me and yet 
there's so much negative negative everything around the fact that we look india right like that's an insult like que india te ves or eso está indio you know whatever like that is an insult and so my mom before being aware of how violent these words are to a young person to any person really but um before she knew about all this and before she changed her mindset on all this she was very negative about it too you know saying like the, you know you should paint your you should dye your hair you know get some highlights so you don't look so india you know whatever and again that is such a negative term in our culture that just needs to stop you know we're, we're you tell these kids you know no salga al sol too long because you're gonna get dark as if being dark is a bad thing colorism is real especially like amongst our people and you know telling people you know don't go out in the sun for too long especially children that you know that gets embedded into their minds that is a lifelong thing you know having these these eurocentric beauty features that that are idolized you know like the blonde hair the blue eyes um a quick little story about this uh, whenever we went to el salvador um you know luna looks more like me i'd say and so she has you know brown hair and brown eyes and so whenever we were out there there was this lady i think it was like my mom's second cousin or something like that uh while we were at the park and she was like Ay, no salió con ojos azules, as if it was a bad thing that she had brown eyes you know like oh too bad she doesn't have blue eyes and it's and i was like no 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 you know está bonitísima con los ojos café you know like i love her brown eyes her brown eyes are beautiful and and like i kind of made it like a joke because i didn't want to like have this whole you know <laughs> decolonization conversation with this lady who we were like about to walk away from but I, I had to say like you know like no you know my my daughter has beautiful brown eyes and i was like y más mira más como mí. you know like and she looks more like me anyways but anyways that just goes to show you just um these these way the way that we talk about this is so negative so so violent to our own self-love that we have to learn this we have to we have to unlearn everything that we've been taught saying that blonde eyes but blonde eyes, uh, blue eyes and blonde hair is the epitome of beauty like that is the goal of beauty when when it's not you know and that's that's when the super like cliche and like super cheesy thing of like you are beautiful the way you are like it's so true exactly the way you are that that is you you know and to be told as a child that you know you you need to look a different way because you look to india the way that you naturally look like that is that is destructive and so Dismantling these uh, Eurocentric beauty standards was definitely the next phase in my decolonization journey. And so learning so much about that and being able to correctly see myself, to love myself in the way that I am, in the skin that I am, in the hair color that I am, the eye color that I am, you know, like that is so important to to really resonate with who you are and like really appreciate who you are. And so, you know, that was a really big part of my journey as well. And so the next kind of phase was um, learning into the history of like our people in specific. And so learning so much about history, again, going back to it, but learning so much about history that we have just been blatantly lied to you know is is so negative because we don't really know who we are as people and by not knowing and not identifying with who we really are we have a lack of power we have a lack of awareness and i think that having this knowledge and having this awareness of who i am and who i come from and having such pride in that is so rewarding in and of itself and so enlightening truly it is and so this is so this is such a random video now i'm just like ranting but anyways um just having known now all of the things that i know 
when it comes to being proud in who, of who I am and where I come from and my people. It just brings me to this whole new level of peace within myself. And I highly, highly, highly encourage anyone out there who has ever felt either ashamed or, you know, embarrassed or whatever by who you are and where you come from, please, please, please join me in this journey of decolonization and dismissing all of these negative ideas of our people, regardless of who you are. Um, so, um, again, I'm going to try to make this into like a little series kind of thing where I talk about specific topics and like big like questions about it and that way I can dive deeper into it because I have so much to talk about but again I'm really sorry if this video like didn't have any sort of order or anything but I also kind of hear Luna in the background moving around so I have to go see her mom life y'all but uh if you guys have any comments or questions for future videos in this series please leave them down below I'm gonna write them all down so that way I can make more of these uh for watching and I will talk to y'all later